Electric vehicle batteries, how much does it cost to replace them and how often do you have to replace them? Hi, my name is Mike, I'm from Greenway Electric and I've been driving electric vehicles since 2013 and I've owned quite a few electric vehicles as I buy and sell them through a dealership. So let me tell you about my experience. So in the more than 100 electric vehicles that I've purchased and sold, I've never once had to replace a battery in any of the vehicles. And there's an article that just came out today talking about the longevity of the batteries in electric vehicles. Tesla, being a very famous electric vehicle maker, has done an analysis of the fleet of Tesla vehicles, of which there's now millions out there, and they have been building a Model 3 and Model Y Tesla since 2018. And they've done an analysis of the vehicles that are uh, high mileage and have been out there for a long time. So they're looking at vehicles that have had a high usage. They're looking for vehicles that have over 200,000 miles or over 320,000 kilometers. And they're using that number of 200,000 miles because they assume that on average, typically vehicles, uh, their, their service life or their lifespan is around 200,000 miles. Of course, there's ones that go further, absolutely. And they can go a million miles, uh, some vehicles do. But on average, if you look at vehicles that are coming to end of life, 200,000 miles is approximately how long they go. So if they're just using that as a estimate of what would be a normal service life of a vehicle or an average service life, then they've taken a look at the battery capacity for the vehicles that have traveled that distance. And they've done an analysis and looked at how much battery the battery has faded or degraded over that period of time. And any electric vehicle, the batteries do slowly degrade and uh, it's important to understand how much that is. So what they've found is that on average, their cars that have gone 200,000 miles or 320,000 kilometers have faded or degraded by about 15%, 1.5. So that means they still have 85% of the capacity that they had when they were new. So then the question becomes, do you need to replace the battery in a vehicle that's got 200,000 miles on it and it still has 85% of its original capacity? I would say the answer is no. There's no good reason to do that. If you have a car that originally was capable of 300 miles or 500 kilometers and it's degraded by 15%, that car is still very usable and, and very serviceable. And I'm sure that it would have a lot of use and value even with 15% uh, degradation in the battery. Uh, similar to gasoline and diesel vehicles, you, their gas tank doesn't shrink, of course, but the engine efficiency does reduce over time. Once it starts to wear, uh, you're going to have parts that are wearing, it'll be slightly less efficient. And, uh, you know, so other vehicles, the gas and diesel vehicles uh, as well, will reduce their range as effectively, not because the gas tank got smaller, but because the engine is not running as quite as efficiently. When they're brand new, of course, they run extremely efficiently and everything's firing on all cylinders, so to say. But as the vehicle ages, you know, it can slowly degrade in terms of its efficiency. And it's not a significant amount. Of course, if a vehicle fails, uh, there's a, or there's a problem with the motor, you get that repaired. But uh, over time, they do s slowly reduce their uh, range as well. So then the question goes back to, well, how often do I need to replace the battery in my electric vehicle? And what Tesla's report is saying, you never need to replace the battery in your electric vehicle. And so you don't need to ask the question, how much does it cost to replace it? Now, if you do a Google search, you'll find some one-off cases where people did uh, go and search out uh, a replacement battery for the vehicle. But by and large, the batteries in the vehicles are very robust and they're able to survive the life of the vehicle. So why is that different from our experience with cell phones and laptops, which those batteries tend to not last as long. They don't last 200,000 miles, uh, whatever that means in cell phone and laptops coverage. But 200,000 miles, that, that's, a long, that's a long distance, uh, 320,000 kilometers. That can take you decades, uh, you know, 10, 15 years to achieve. And we know that laptop and cell phone batteries typically don't last that long. Well, the reason that the electric vehicle batteries last so long is because of the battery management system. That's a circuit board essentially on the car that's taking care of the battery. It's making sure that the battery is not too hot or too cold. It's not being overcharged. It's not being undercharged. It's, uh, you're not drawing too much power from it at once or you're not charging it too quickly. And it's making sure that the battery is being well taken care of. But the user or driver has no need to pay any attention to any of this. The battery management system is doing this on its own, so it prevents the user or the driver from making a mistake or overcharging it or undercharging it by accident. It just can't happen. 
And so that's why these batteries will last so long. Secondly, the batteries in long range vehicles, and this is what the Tesla survey was looking at, is their more recent Model 3s and Model Ys. Those are mostly, uh, well, they have two different versions of the vehicles. They have one called long range and one called short range, but even the short range is, uh, is, uh, has quite a long range compared to electric vehicles from 10 years ago. So because the battery has a large capacity and long range, it goes through fewer cycles or recharge cycles from full to empty or empty to full. And that also preserves the battery longevity as well. So, but if you have a electric vehicle that has a small battery capacity and you've managed to drive it 200,000 miles or 320,000 kilometers, it's going to show a greater capacity degradation because you've had to go through more charge and recharge cycles. But most modern electric vehicles now have a range of several hundred miles or several hundred kilometers. And so that means basically that the battery is intended to last the life of the vehicle. Of course, the manufacturers also guarantee that they have warranties of eight to 10 years. Uh, so there's no uh, chance of you having to pay for a ba replacement battery, but even beyond that warranty period, uh, the battery is intended to last the life of the vehicle. So if you go back to the original question of how much does it cost or how often do I have to replace the battery? My answer would be, you should never have to replace the battery. You should never plan to do that. And also the cost itself, is difficult to find. If you do Google searches, you'll find all kinds of conflicting information and often you won't be able to find information on how much it costs to replace the battery because it's not simply not a standard thing. You can't, like a laptop battery, you just go on to Amazon and order your replacement battery if you want because those do fail after a few years. And that's because they're being overcharged or undercharged uh, and not through the fault of the user. It's just that they're not set up there's no battery management system that's taking care of the battery. But the electric vehicle, because the battery is so large and so expensive and so valuable that they've set this up so that it takes care of itself. So what are your experiences? Have you uh, had, do you have an electric vehicle and have, have you had to think about replacing it? Uh, I bet you, you probably haven't. Now, if you thought of replacing your battery, it could be just simply because you want a larger capacity battery. I think, you know, we all would love to have a battery that will last 5,000 kilometers or 5,000 miles, but uh, that's not realistic. It, it would take up too much space and be too heavy. And the reality is the for our daily driving needs, we don't need anything that would have that much capacity. So I'd be interesting to hear your stories and, and in, input on this topic. If you found this video interesting or informative, I appreciate you giving me a thumbs up and consider subscribing for future videos. Thanks very much and have a great day.